A few days ago, at a security conference, somebody disclosed a very high profile vulnerability in uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 phones, which enabled uh, an attacker without not so many skills to remotely wipe the device by simply embedding a small piece of code into a web page. So once the device would visit that web page, that uh, code, which is a USSD code, uh, would be executed on the device. Now, there's two things to know here. One is that, as a rule of thumb, USSD codes are generally benign. They're not used to damage a device. They're used to uh, configure a device or have access to some low-level functionalities. Now, in this case, one of those functionalities was to reset the device to its factory settings, which will effectively wipe all the data on it. Now, you can see how that is a problem. Starting from that particular disclosure, uh, people have discovered that particular type of executing USSD codes on a device is that particular to the Samsung Galaxy S3. You could run that code on basically any Android device which wasn't patched to the very latest version of Android, which is currently 4.1. One. So basically, if you have an unpatched version of Android uh, and you visit a website which embeds a USSD code, that USSD code will be executed on your device. Only the factory set USSD code for the Galaxy S3 has been leaked. I would imagine that there's such a code for most devices. Okay, so these types of codes are not publicly available, but security researchers are investigating it. and. Uh, it's only a matter of time before the factory reset code for HTC or uh, other devices will be made available in the wild. So if you have an unpatched Android and you visit such a website, that code will automatically be executed on your device. So that's, there's no question about that. So towards that end, Bitdefender thought about a solution for the users. And we came up with this Bitdefender USSD uh, wipe stopper as we call it, and we published it on Android Market. Now, what it does is that initially it tells you whether or not your device can be a target for such an attack, whether or not your Android version isn't uh, the one that's not vulnerable to this type of attacks. And also it provides you the possibility to uh, filter any type of attack that has this vector, so USSD embedded in a web page, through the Bitdefender engine. And this is done totally non-intrusive with a very uh, easy to understand user interface. You just enable Bitdefender and from that point onwards, uh, your uh, device is not vulnerable to that exploit. You just have to install Bitdefender's uh, USSD wipe stopper, then start it up and uh, enable Bitdefender to act as a filter for these type of attacks. It will not replace your dialer application. It will not, not intrude in your uh, Android experience. It will simply detect if somebody is trying to execute a new SSD code on your device without your approval. If that happens, you're going to see a warning and that USSD code will not be executed on the device. It's as simple as that. So Bitdefender was the first security company to provide such a tool and it's available freely. Uh, you just have to go to Google Play, search for Bitdefender USSD and download it. Again, it's available for free for, for everybody and we encourage all Android users, including those that are patched and with the latest version to install it because it will not only actively protect you, it will also warn you if somebody's trying to pull a bad trick on you.